We are going to learn about transitive and intransitive verbs today. Students often get confused with these verbs. They find it very complicated. Well, don't worry. Today we are going to simplify transitive, simplify transitive and intransitive verbs. First, we are going to look at transitive verbs. To understand transitive verbs better, let us look at these sentences here. The first sentence is the man killed. Okay. The hunter shot is the second sentence and the boy called is the third sentence. Well, these sentences seem a little incomplete to me. They, we need to add some meaning to them to make them complete and more meaningful. So, let's just say the man killed a mosquito. Okay, probably the mosquito bit him and after which the man killed him. The hunter shot a tiger. Well, hunting tigers is not good, so don't do that. But in this case, we'll just use the sentence, the hunter shot a tiger. Sad, but that happened. And the third sentence is, the boy called, the boy called whom? Uh, I think the boy called his mother. It's always good to call our mothers and keep them updated about what we are doing. So, okay, we have our sentences here. The first sentence is, the man killed a mosquito. The hunter shot a tiger and the third sentence is the boy called his mother. Okay, so we have added some things here and we have given uh, these sentences meaning and we have made them complete. So, let's take a look at the first sentence. The man killed a mosquito. What is the verb in this sentence? It is killed, which is a verb. Then, what is the subject? Now, to find out the subject of a verb, we have to ask the questions, what or who? So, who killed a mosquito? The man killed a mosquito. So, the man becomes our subject. And what is our object? Now, to find out or to identify an object of a verb, we have to ask the questions, what or whom? So, let's ask the question, whom? Whom did the man kill? We get an answer and that answer is, Mosquito and therefore mosquito becomes the object of the verb killed here. So also an important thing, let's just do a quick recap. Subject is the doer of an action and object is the receiver of an action. So mosquito here is the receiver of the action of killing and therefore mosquito is the object of the verb kill. So let's look at the second sentence and let's do the same drill. The hunter shot a tiger. Shot is our verb here. The who killed a tiger? The hunter. Bad, but that happened. So the hunter becomes the subject of the verb shot. And the hunter shot whom? We get the answer and that is tiger. So tiger is the object here. Let's take a look at the third sentence. The boy called his mother. Called here is our verb. Uh, and our subject here is boy. And what is our object then? Whom did the boy call? The boy called his mother. So mother becomes our object here. So what are these verbs? Killed, shot and called. These verbs are transitive verbs. And why are they transitive verbs? Because they need an object to add meaning to them. So here, when if, if you all remember, initially we just had the man killed, the hunter shot and the boy called. But by adding these objects here, mosquito or tiger and mother, we have added meaning to these sentences. And these verbs that need an object to add meaning to the sentence, these verbs are called transitive verbs. So we have transitive verbs here. So, just simple. Transitive verbs, they need an object to complete them. Let's take a look at this sentence that we have here. The boy sat under a tree. Okay. Who sat under a tree? The boy sat. So, boy is our subject. Sat is our verb. Does it mean that under a tree is our object? So, the boy sat what? The boy sat whom? We are not getting an answer to these questions what or whom. And therefore, under a tree is not an object, 
it's simply a preposition so don't get confused there we just remember one thumb rule which is to find out the object in a sentence we simply have to ask the verb the question what or whom so therefore in this sentence under the under a tree is not our object or it's simply a prepositional phrase so now we know what transitive verbs are they are verbs that need an object then what are intransitive verbs so to understand intransitive verbs better let us let us take a look at these examples here the first example is the fire burns okay fire burns and that does make sense the second uh, example is the sun shines okay and the third one is birds fly which is true that birds fly so these sentences here or let me just say these verbs here burns shines and fly they do not need anything else to add meaning to them so they are independent well you know what i'm just in the mood of adding some words here to these sentences so let me just do that so i'm going to say the fire burns brightly which it does okay great the sun shines in the sky which is okay in the sky and lastly we have the birds fly very high okay so i feel good after adding these words to these sentences and now let's just read these new sentences the fire burns brightly okay so our verb here is burns which is our verb and what is brightly is brightly an object well remember i told you uh, while we are learning about transitive verbs that to find out the object of a verb we simply have to ask the question what or whom so let's just do that the fire burns what not an answer the fire burns whom still do not get any answer that means brightly here is not our object it's simply an adverb let's take a look at the second sentence the sun shines our verb here is shines and what is in the sky let's ask the question again the sun shines what the sun shines who no answer therefore in the sky is not our object but simply a prepositional phrase let's take a look at the third sentence birds fly very high okay fly is our verb and the birds fly what the birds fly whom no answer and that means that this is not our object so these verbs that we have here burns shines and fly these are our intransitive verbs and why are they our intransitive verbs because intransitive verbs are verbs that do not need an object to add a meaning to them so they are independent they do not they do not require the support of an object and that's it those are our intransitive verbs uh just you know basic tricks here so to find out the transitive verbs we simply have to ask the question what or whom to our verbs if we get an answer to that that means that that verb has an object and those verbs are transitive whereas in the case of transitive in sorry whereas in the case of intransitive verbs just remember one thing these verbs they do not require an object they are independent verbs and just try asking the questions what or whom again just to be sure like let's just take the first example we have the fire burns brightly if you look at this sentence you may get confused that is brightly an object so if you are getting confused there simply ask the question what or whom if you get an answer it's a transitive verb if you do not get an answer it's an intransitive verb so that's it that's how simple transitive and intransitive verbs are so until next time guys happy learning